Hi, welcome to Wellness. I'm your host, Linda Lonigan, Senior Clinical Nutritionist. I am here to show you the very best your community has to offer in health, fitness, well-being, amazing people, and events. Today, I am joined by the lovely Margaret Carey, who is editor to Hamlet Hub and a wonderful contribution to the community at large. Welcome, Margaret. Thank you, Linda. It's such a pleasure to be here on thank your you, show. Absolutely. Thank you for being here. So please tell me, how did this all begin, Margaret? Well, I'll tell you, when we moved up to Brewster, my husband and I had a one-and-a-half-year-old daughter, and we didn't know what was going on in the community. So I kept going back home to Rye and doing things there because I knew people there. I knew what was going on. I didn't know what was going on in my new hometown. So... When my kids got older and they got into school, we started finding out what was going on. Right. And right. because of my background in computer science, yeah. I kept getting volunteered to do PR. Wow. So designing flyers and finding out what's going on in the community, I didn't have a place to share it. And that's when I decided I need to find somewhere where people can share information for free, where people can find out about information for free, but sometimes very last minute, right? Um, and the internet was just the way to go with it. And it's, it's absolutely amazing. You've opened up the entire community in yes. terms of everything you do in every way that you do, and you just keep doing. Yeah. Um, just latest with the Brewster Music Festival, it was it was phenomenal. Oh, you it's had a wonderful amazing. turnout, great people. It was, uh, and you were director. And did an astounding job. Yes, yeah. and they, we have a great team of people with the Cultural Arts Coalition. Mm -hmm. in um, It's uh, in the Old Town Hall Theater, which is responsible for restoring an old theater in the heart of Brewster. Interesting. And any time you see a theater that gets restored in a community, yeah. it brightens up that whole town and all the businesses Aww. and all the people and all the, the traffic that comes through, bringing people from outside to see what a beautiful community we have. So I'm a big proponent of the arts. I have a theater background and I, I will, it will always be my passion. But I, that theater is, it's going to take a lot of money and a lot of time. Right. And doing events like the Brewster Music Festival right. is perfect. And it's, and it's one little step at a time, right? Mm -hmm. And you'll be able to see in terms of events, uh, musicals or, or dramas or anything that's going to take place? At Absolutely. Theater, right? The uh, Cultural Arts Coalition has an active art gallery on the lower right. level. Right. We support local artists. And okay. we are currently in this space holding meetings like Master Networks meetings. Sure. We're holding educational workshops. We're holding cabarets, theater performances in a small space Interesting. that is very very intimate and then it will be you know those are the type of events that are going to be brought up into the theater uh, 250 seat historic theater with the uh, most amazing acoustics this is so wonderful to hear it really is because mm. I was brought up with a background in, in theater and the arts and to hear the coming to Brewster but you're not only doing things in Brewster, you're Correct. also doing things in Somers. You're doing it in New Fairfield. You're doing it in Carmel. Right. And um, now Yorktown is our Yorktown. newest. Uh, I, we built Brewster um, with Hamlet Hub mm -hmm. as, a, as our starting point. Mm -hmm. And then I started noticing all these other local towns that didn't have what Brewster had. Right. And I said, well, we're, we're your neighbors. You know, we often will go to New Fairfield for our church. We go to Somers for our dentist. We go to Yorktown for the mall so right. we're you know as as a community it's we don't just stay in our town right we expand out not only into our county but our like you know 20 mile radius you know where are you going right. to go to events to sure. support local businesses non-for-profits is huge in our community we are blessed with a community filled with amazing non-for-profits if you have a need mm -hmm. there's someone there that can help you fill that need and it's it's wonderful that you've been able to find that as right. far as and to bring communities together because people think I was born in Brooklyn I was brought up in in Glendale and uh, the arts exposure to the arts was all around me my mm -hmm. whole life and to see these wonderful little communities coming together for such a wonderful trail of drama and the cabaret and it's just so outstanding right. and you're bringing communities together and you're you you keep on top of everything you're continually yes. communicating between each each area mm -hmm. 
and I'm always and on the lookout. Out. Always on the lookout to find um, those organizations. I don't care whether it's a Girl Scout selling cookies at the train station, or it's the county running a free you know, flu clinic, we're trying to get information to the community so that they can keep abreast of what's going on. And it's positive news. And, and you know, we talk about wellness, our Absolutely. mental health, Absolutely. our wellness. You if you're surrounded by, and I don't have to tell you, you're an expert at this. Yeah. When you're surrounded by those positive things, you by bet. that positive energy, yeah. it feeds your soul. And it that's does. where what we hope to do. Right. We, we'll leave the negative stuff for other media sources, but at Hamlet Hub, I want it to be positive and entertaining and fun and a, a valuable resource mm -hmm. because it's free and people can just come to it, right. find out what's going on. Right. You don't have to, you know what it's like being on social media. Mm -hmm. You you can get lost in all of the wonderful things our community is doing. Sure. This way I reach out to all those people and say, right. let's put it all in one place. So valuing your time because don't we want to balance our life and our sure you know our work and our home absolutely so if you had to go to five different places it's a little bit more difficult right. so going to one place that's the resource mm -hmm. it's it makes it easier and it's mm -hmm. great for me i find out about a ton of things going on in our community that i want to go to and that we you know we'll cover my husband peter is amazing he'll go to all these events mm -hmm. and he'll take pictures he runs up and down the street taking pictures of people Yes. Smiling, happy people. Yes. We love it. I, I saw him at uh, I saw him at the Brewster Music Festival and your and your children. Very yes. enthusiastic and lovely. They're and so just supportive. contributing and being so supportive, which was was wonderful. It really was. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it's one it's amazing that you keep on being on top of things in terms of bringing news. And in our, our world right now, Positivity is everything, and I'm always sharing it to my viewers. Mm -hmm. um, and you're doing this in, in, in a way. And it started in, in what year that you did this? So I started Brewster in 2015, early 2015. Okay. Hamlet Hub has been around since 2009 in other right. towns. Right. Um, but right. I took over Brewster um, and then New Fairfield about a year and a half ago. And then Somers, Carmel in July of 2018, and then December 2018, uh, Yorktown. They're just, and what wonderful people. Every time I meet a new a new community right, and right. share what we're doing, sure. like whether it's the Lions Club, the Little League, the, and, and just, you know, we are blessed with so many wonderful people that are just, you know, trying to get the word out and it's so hard you know right. to to figure out what do I do how do I do it to to that point I right. ended up you know we met through master networks sure. and they encouraged Wonderful me organization. absolutely and they encouraged me they're like Margaret you need to help people get the word out not just and not just in Hamlet Hub I help people get the word out to all our media sources be, right. you know like Comcast sure. and you know all of the other places that we have right. that share news. Right. You can't just be in one place. You right. have to be, you know, you have to shout it from the rooftops, right? <laughs> no, you do. But I have to say that I was so pleased. I want to thank you. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart, just being, you know, I've been in nutrition for 25 years. I worked as a corporate scientist uh, for seven years prior to that. Um, I've lived in uh, Katona for 30-something years, um, uh, Somer, Sarah. And I have to say that I want to thank you for all you do every single day to bring these lovely little hamlets together in communication because you're acknowledging something, like you said, you're just so special, acknowledging somebody selling Girl Scout cookies or a little league game, which is acknowledge, acknowledging and validating the individual, but also the child or the teenager in such a very special and important way. Right. And uh, I was so pleased to hear you. <laughs> that you got an award. Please tell me about your award. Uh, thank you. I, I was truly honored. The Putnam County Service Network uh, honored me with a, an Excellent in Communication Award. It was the uh, Lynn and Buzz Burr Excellent in Communication Award. And I have to tell you, it was so thrilling to be acknowledged. I mean, look, I do this, you you know, because it's who I am. Sure. I love sharing news. I sure. love being a resource for the community right. and to be acknowledged by such a, a wonderful organization that, that honors so many talented people in right. all walks of life right. was just extremely 
like extremely humbling. I was I was truly honored. So I was very happy. I'm so, I'm so happy you got yeah. that. Thank you. I, I really am. And it doesn't stop there. You also wrote a book. So please tell I me did. about your book. So oh, it's uh, The Secrets to Saving Money Using Public Relations. Mm -hmm. And it's a workbook. It's mm -hmm. designed to help you do what is normally done for a very expensive amount of money to do it for free. You just need time. And it lays out everything from how to communicate with social media, how to communicate with um, media outlets, as well as how to leverage free social media that's out there. Um, it's it's very challenging. Uh -huh. You know, social media changes every day. Sure. Uh, so sure. this lays out very simply and very easily step by step what to do and it's I found it to be a resource for many people and I figured I'm gonna pull all of my tools together and design it into one place into a book so amazing amazing and when did you find time to do this Margaret <laughs> So um, there's uh, the family that supports me. Sure. Uh, so I'm able to, Lovely you know, family. you you have to you sure. have to make it a commitment, and it, it's right. with anything. I, you know, I I play the juggling game, but I also do. I I have three wonderful children, and they're all they adults. Are. But they, you know, I want to spend time with them whenever they have time. Sure the beauty of doing what I do is I can do it anywhere, right? Anytime, right? And you know, so. I can't tell you that was that was a labor of love and a lot mm -hmm. of you know something I've developed over the last ten years working in PR. Right. It's it's and it's changed. Right. Yeah, and, it's changed. and and you continually go with those changes, which is so important. Right. Um, so how does Margaret Carey relax? <laughs> so my favorite thing to do, Linda, and we share this, is yeah. theater. Okay. I love going to the theater. I performed since I was eight years old. My last thing I did was I played. John Adams and I loved it. So it was a, uh, it was. I think that's going to be my swan song performance wise. <laughs> I direct over at Carmel High School. I um, and Isn't then I that? I attend theater. I just I wow. take my my two girls love theater. So we'll go down to the city. I guess nice. you know I support organizations like TDF, okay. who's you know a, a fantastic organization down mm -hmm. the city supporting. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know the arts um so that's what we do we we go to shows see shows love shows go to the, you know and again this is where i find out not just we have really amazing theater in our own community right. but we'll also go up to see shakespeare and mm -hmm. uh, um at the Boscobel. sure um sure uh, we, absolutely you know or go down the city and see shakespeare in the park or i just love it one, yeah. oh, it sounds wonderful to have that passion. Mm -hmm. So we're uh, just ready to uh, sum up, and I want you to know if you have any last minute you'd like to share with my viewers oh. of something that's coming up, or I mean, so well. Keep going. First, the Brewster Fall Festival is coming up on okay. September eighth. Okay. Um, and that's going to be we shut down all of. Main Street and Brewster, mm -hmm. and we had last year we had over 125 vendors, booths, information booths, local businesses, wow. Wow. Um, community organization, food trucks, games, prizes, two full stages of entertainment, and it's free. Come down, have a good time. Brewsterfallfestival.com. And the other thing, I'd love to encourage people sure. to follow us on social media sure. or and on our website. It's free. Right. This is a free resource to the community. Right. Tell people to go to, but you know, go to hamlethub.com. Put in your zip code. I run Carmel, Brewster, um, New Fairfield, Yorktown, mm -hmm. and um, of course Somers. So we're, uh, we're busy. That's amazing. <laughs> I, I have to thank you. You're so busy, you Margaret. So and I can't thank you enough for taking the time to be here today. I, I really thank appreciate you. it. Oh, it's keep, an keep absolute being you. honor. Thank you. Keep being you and doing the wonderful things that you do. Thank Absolutely. You. Thank you, Linda. You're welcome. <laughs> so remember when you eat well and select great foods and feel great, it's something you want to do for the rest of your life. Remember, balance and moderation is key. I want to thank my wonderful crew um, and my viewers. Uh, have a nice night.